because we can see that Jordan back there. Oh my goodness, that is thing. Hopefully they're in here, I feel something. Oh yeah. Another storage unit, we got B125, $135, all in on this. There's certain reasons why I bid on it. Let's go in here. Small, five by 10. Look how small the door is, five by 10. So, and there's also some good, not so good things in here, which it seems like I always buy for some reason, but let's go and see what we got. There she is. And honestly, the reason why, is right here. All these shoes, you have high-end shoes, Salomon, Doc Martens, Jordans, Merrells, and Jordans. Now, we don't know if they're, uh, you know, if they're in there or not, or anything like that, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull them out, and hopefully that they are, because uh, that's like everything else is just going to be mattresses and headboards, so $135 to make back. Let's go ahead and start looking. Pull this box first. We'll leave a whole bunch of those shoe box here for a little bit. Oh, I already see. Here we go. Hey, they're in there. These are Jordan Youths Air Jordan Retro 14s. Oh, they're in there. And they look pretty nice. Nice. We've been doing super good. And we now know, like, some Jordans go for a ton of money. Some Jordans don't. But it looks like easily, even on the low end, they go for, like, 40 bucks, 40 $50. So that's not too bad for the first Jordan box. Where's your gloves? Oh, yeah. Um, let me put my gloves on. Oh, might be a police locker. This is actually one of the, um, it's not a newer. Bring back old memories. This does bring back old memories. These are the tearaways. These are the ones that we wanted. And um, when you're directing traffic, if you get hit by a car, these actually tear away. So they don't get, you don't get drug down the street. So this is actually like an, a little upgraded one. So they're, they could probably go for like 15 bucks, but let me put my gloves on. All right, we got this thing right here. Is it heavy? Oh yeah, heavy. There's some good stuff in here, so we're gonna go ahead and keep going. Let's see what we got here. Ah, okay. Hopefully we find this guy's friend. These are the New Balance 900 series. Even in poor, poor condition, these still go for 60 bucks. In really good condition, they're over 90 used. So we're we'll hopefully find his friend. Oh, there's his friend right there. We keep all of our towels because we do use them all the time. To clean. To clean, yeah. Like we don't, yeah. <laughs> We don't use them on our body. We don't use them on our body, but this is not in bad shape, honestly. This is still resellable. These things clean up really, really well. They're the 990s, that's what they are. We got some more shoes in here, and I really thought, oh, come take a look at this. <gasps> what? Ray-Ban. Ray-Bans are All right, let's take there? a look. All right, here is Polo Ralph Lauren. Are they in there? No. Nope, just the case. Just the case, but save the cases, because the cases do sell. All right, we got some Vans here, and they look like they're brand new. Huh. Uh, maybe not. But they still have the Vans things inside there. And there's the other one. How much do Vans go for? Mm, I'm not really sure. Probably, Probably like 30 like... bucks, maybe? Yeah, 20 or 30. All right, we got a hat. Oh, nice American uh, Academy Sports Outdoors. That's not bad, actually, honestly. Oh, that's nice. I've run through hats like crazy. Fairy duck boots. Ooh. They're not bad, right? They aren't bad. All these are, again, really good condition, and so far I'm not smelling anything weird. Good. All right, here we go. Here is a, the Ray-Ban case. Oh, I don't know. Is it light? It is light, but that's okay. It has the instructions in there with the Ray-Ban cloth, oh. and this is easy 15 bucks. Yeah. Like, they sell all day long for that much money with the original cloth. Oh, Ray-Bans. This one's got something in it. Are you ready? Oh, wrong way. Okay, the Ray-Ban reader glasses in there are broken half. Oh. Huh. Okay, so not so good there, and the case is kind of beat up, so that's not all that great. And some older vans here. They don't look all that great, do they? Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll comp them out and check them out. They're, they're not extremely dirty. Speed Wheel Santa Cruz. This is actually a really cool-looking shirt. That is cool-looking shirt. Yeah, we might actually keep that one in. Try to resell that one. But we did get right here, we already made 11 cents back. Nice. So that's not too bad. We're gonna clean this up and then we're gonna go through a lot more of those boxes. Alrighty, moving on. We have a really nice looking chair here. That's not bad right there now. That's a pretty nice chair. 
Uh, these are, it's a beach umbrella. Oh, and around here, yeah. in South Carolina, Myrtle Beach, people actually buy these from me to rent them out. And this is a good one. It's the cloth one. The cloth ones are better than like the plastic ones, I think. So we'll make sure that thing has no holes in it, but this is like the easiest sell in the world in the summertime. Like, cause people forget them when they come down on vacation and they buy them off Facebook Marketplace for 10 bucks. Mm -hmm. Big old box here. Raw food. Raw food? Oh man, I'm hoping there's not raw food oh, in here. Oh jeez, I wouldn't uh, think so. I don't know, I think it would smell a little bit worse than that. What is that? It's like a big machine or something. Oh, it's a uh, humidifier. Uh, mm, they don't go for that much money. Three brushes. Let's see what's in the drawer here. What do you think's in this? What is that? You have to test your sugar, be careful. No. Oh, is that what it is? I don't know. Styling razor, 10 blades. I'll tell you this, razors nowadays are worth a ton of money. We'll actually look them up because razors are, like when you go to the store, a razor for your face is like, what, 10, 20 bucks? So we'll look at those. Abundance amount of combs. Stuff, trash. And this looks, I don't know what this looks like. Curlers, maybe? Oh yeah. So, curlers, and I found the weight in the box because it's literally weights in the box. <laughs> <laughs> but this is a shoe organizer, is it? Maybe? Yeah, it's like a hamper. Kind of helps you. Oh no, oh, no, it's for shoes. It's for shoes. Huh. Is this a Birkenstock? No. Looks like a bird. It's a stuff. Madden girl. These, these chairs back here are expensive. I can't wait to get that thing. Let's go ahead and go through, through some of these clothing. Okay, now I 100% now know it was a police officer or somebody that wore gear because this is a outer vest to a uh, bulletproof vest. It's a small person too because this is a very small one because this would just not really cover up my vitals. We might find Kevlar in here. There's a good possibility. Here is a... These are actually expensive if they're not tailored. These are from Blower. Oh, it's still got the tag. Yeah, this is a uniform. It has the line on the side. This is uh, a small man, 30. I'm not ever fitting into a 30. And they look like they're unhemmed. And these things can go probably for like 50 bucks because they're a uniform. This is a weird unit, right? It's, it's like just... climate control, but not climate control. Yeah, because we're indoors. But it's cold in here. It's cold. Freezing. Open this bad boy up right here. That almost looks like a um an evidence locker sticker. Really? Yeah. Evidence Cookie locker? Evidence. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. I mean I think it's ruined, right? Or is it supposed to look like that? That's cute. Yeah, that's pretty cute. We'll see if we can clean that up. A ton of scarves. Um, these are a little bit rougher condition, Nike Airs. Right here, we'll see if we can, they almost feel like they're dry rotted. Feel like, see, it's not hard they are. Mm. Like this one is no good. Like, I think I just, sh I just shattered the bottom of the shoe because they're just dry rotted. So they're, they're going to be a throwaway item, which is sad. We do have these, which are also completely dry rotted. When you twist them, they're actually uh. just falling apart. So that's no good. We do have the other one in here. It's got good vibes. Pink. Isn't that a can cooler? Yeah, I think it is. Right here, we do have a Jordan sitting right here and it's in good condition. So it seems like all the clothes in the front are in good condition. Like that's that's really in decent condition. And we have this other friend right here. And these look pretty good. We'll look them up and throw the sole comps on the, on the screen, but that's a pretty good pair of shoes. Yeah. All right, let's take a look in here. Just some old clothing. Oh, it's kind of light. Oh, oh no. no. All right, the first group of shoes. Okay. Solomon's. Empty. Burp. Burp. Uh, Merrill's. <gasps> Empty. Oh, no. Uh, here's a little box, something in the little box. Nothing. Empty. Hold the empty boxes up front. 
Here's some Timberlands, some old Timberlands. Uh, they're actually not bad. Okay, let's pull this bag out real quick. Another pair of Jordans. Please be in there. Please be in there. Oh. Hopefully they're in here. I feel something. Oh yeah. Yes. These look very nice. Those are very nice. Yeah, and I think these are called oh the God. flights. We've had these before, depending on the color. They go up to as high as like a hundred bucks used. Some Nikes are in here. Maybe it's just one. Oh no. Ooh. Hey, these are uh, these are good. These, I have seen these, and these are super important to press the bubble to make sure the bubble's not burst, but these are in super good condition. I've seen these as high as like a couple hundred dollars. I don't know if this is going to be the ones that are worth that much money, but we'll clean these bad boys up, but they don't even really look that used. No. Like, they look super nice. So, that's not bad. I know that we're a little disappointed in the other ones, but we got another box of Doc Martens in here. Let's see if the Doc Martens are in there. Is that heavy? It's heavy, but it feels like there's only one shoe. Oh, Ready? No. Oh! They're nice. both in there. They look brand new. And they are probably going to be brand new. With Doc Martens, the more eyes on it, usually the more money they're worth. So these are probably going to be nice. 60, 70, probably almost all the way up to 100 bucks in this condition. Brand new with the box. I mean, We've been doing pretty good with the shoes. So right here, you're probably talking, it's a 50, 50, 50 on the low end. That's 150 bucks. So we're already doubling our money. We got one more Jordan box here. Big fat burnt. Yeah, picked it up real light. So that wasn't in there. Is that heavy? This. Piece of a blender. That's like a juicer. Yeah, like a big old juicer. There's the blender right there. It's a cheaper blender. But we'll look this juicer up. Oh, this is a Jack uh, Lalane juicer. That's actually pretty good. Sweet. I think that we'll see if we can um, we'll see if we can clean this. I go under there probably. But Jack Lalane juicers, I think, are worth like 50, 60 bucks. So, but we be this. We'll probably just donate. Get there. So we just pulled this thing out. This is a really nice, what was that? That would be a queen, right? A queen, it just needs to be cleaned up. And this is on Marketplace. This headboard, we have the headboard and the footboard and the sides. Uh, so I'm thinking like at least 30 or 40 bucks. This stuff nowadays is like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. We'll give somebody a really good deal on that. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. This is called a Papa chair, Papa Bondi chair. I have no idea. I don't know, but it's something like that. The thing is, is that the cushion is in pretty nasty looking condition and it doesn't look like it can be clean. It doesn't unzip. It doesn't unzip. So mm. I wonder if just the chair, what we could you take to the dry cleaners. Probably worth more than what it's worth. Probably. But we can might be able to sell just the chair and somebody could buy yeah. their own pad. So we'll try to sell the chair because the chair itself is in good condition. Yeah. And then in here, and it's going to be hard to see, but there is a TV in here. So we got a TV here. We'll see if it works. So we will see if that bad boy works. And hopefully it's a smart TV because it looks like from our other TVs that we have purchased, non-smart TVs just don't sell. So hopefully we'll plug that thing in. And what is that, like a 42 incher? Yeah. That ain't bad. Oh, here are the TV. It's just the comforter. The TV stand. TV stands. Oh, yeah. These actually would sell without the TV. Huh. If the TV's bad, because TV stands sell because people put them on their walls. Yeah. And then they forget need to put the TV stands back, but they throw them away. These probably go for 20, 30 bucks easy. So that's gonna go ahead and conclude the this storage unit. $135 all in. I think that we probably did easy 300 bucks. I think we easily did $300 or more. These little storage units, I don't know what time it is right now. Let's go take a time, because we got here at one o'clock. It is only 1.53. So less than an hour by the time we get out here, in and out in one hour. A lot of this stuff will be donated. The stuff that is trash, we throw away at our local dump, which is super close to us. This unit is only three minutes away from the house. Mm -hmm. So literally we will be in and out of this unit in probably four hours of processing it. And that includes everything. Then when we go home, not much to list, but the stuff that we got, super high end. I do appreciate everybody watching. If you wanna know what we sell and how we sell it, 
We have another YouTube channel called The Flip Squad. It will be linked right here, also down in the description and in the comments. We're, I think we're over 2,000 now at this point, so we mm -hmm. do appreciate it. I do appreciate everybody watching. You know I will always get you on the next one.